So anybody that listened to our podcast earlier this week knows that we got a little sidetracked with Shane Vereen talking about a whole lot of things outside of the NFL world. Um, so these are the best bits from the hour or so that we had chatting with him about anything almost apart from American football. Uh, topics including tequila, the first meal out after lockdown, sushi, mood lighting in restaurants, camping and uh, favourite podcasts as well. So, yeah, enjoy a little bit of Shane Vereen talking anything but football. What, what are you drinking, by the way? Uh, tequila. Fortnite Don Julio, 1942. Ooh, you just drinking? Nice. Are you drinking straight tequila? That's wicked. You don't, you don't, you don't, <laughs> you don't, you don't add. You don't need to add. Uh, hangovers. You you add sugar, you get hangovers. My grandma, I've heard that before. My yeah. Grandma taught me that. Yeah, yeah. Up, it's a sugar crash. Yeah, I woke up and I was like all hungover. She goes, "The reason you feel like that is because you put all your sugar in your drink." You know. So uh-huh. I and I love tequila. You, you know, tequila, I'd... tequila's good for you. You guys know that, right? And I'm not just saying that because I drink it every day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. What's the, uh, I'm what's the, what's the health benefit? Yeah. yeah, no, seriously. There's, it's shown to, uh, in, like, um, The Rock drinks tequila, takes a couple shots of tequila before every one of his workouts because it increases bone strength and blood flow. Um, and... Uh, it's the only alcohol that's an upper. Um, okay. All other, all other alcohols are depressants. Uh, tequila is an upper. It's the most natural alcohol with the least amount of sugar. Um, there's no there's no added sugar in tequila, and some studies show it helps to lose weight, and that's why I'm so trim. Well, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I like the education. Well, you, made, you made me a believer in that. I tell you that much, Shane. Yeah. So I'm going to be drinking straight tequila, and I'm going to go and do some weights tomorrow and see what happens. <laughs> you know how it goes. You look like the rock. I'll just just pass out. Yeah. Or, or just pass out. Or yeah. 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 Either way, at least you have. <laughs> yeah. Well. Surviving lockdown with oh. uh, Patron. I'm okay with that, actually. I could, yeah, if we could lock up Minus, again, yeah. actually, and I could test it thoroughly, that would be great. If we could close everything down again, hibernate, a couple of bottles of Patron. Well, you might get your chance, man. Who Six knows? weeks, according to Shane. <laughs> yeah. If you guys need tequila suggestions, let me know. I don't drink Patron. Okay. Better. There's better and there's cheaper. That's much better. So which one would you suggest? Yeah. I, I like I like uh Don Julio, just uh regular Don Julio Anejo Reposado or Silver. Casamigos. Yeah. Have you, do you guys have Casamigos out there? I think we do, don't we? Maybe. I haven't seen no it. Idea. Casamigos, um what else do I drink a lot of? There's one called Coda Go. There's not much, you know, I, in my travels to Europe, there's really not much tequila. No, it's not a big thing for us. No, That's because I thought Patron was like way better than the stuff that I'd had before when Ollie brought it back from the States. Yeah. And that's obviously yeah. not that good then. The coffee one is delicious, by the way. The coffee, yeah. one, the, the yeah. coffee one is good. Uh, yeah, that's nice. But sugar. Yeah, yeah. exactly. They, now you're into the sugar problem. Yeah, that's a trouble. Um, I, I I enjoy Patrons every now and then, but it's not. I don't buy it. If people have, if you know, if it's offered, then I'll have some. But it's not. There's more. There's a, there's a lot better quality in my opinion. What's the Rocks one like? Have you tried that? I haven't tried Terra Terra Terramana Terramana. I haven't tried. I haven't tried that yet. It's on my list. Um, there's another one. There's another one that just came out too. That's on. That's on my list. Uh, but actually, there's one called like Arza or something like that, and that's a cheaper one, but it's not terrible. Uh, like tequila is not like like the good thing. I, the thing I like about tequila, like I would take cheap tequila over cheap vodka any day. Oh yeah, mm. cheap vodka is real cheap bad. Cheap vodka is pain <laughs> stripper. Yeah, it yeah, smells. Yeah. It smells it like smells, it tastes yeah, like. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It doesn't go away. <laughs> Yeah, no. yeah. It hangs that's around. A bad, that's a bad day. 
Yeah. yeah. It's, you, you, don't, you usually don't get a hangover. Like, that's pretty much what I drink it. Uh, I don't know. So I've had, put that to the test. So every every Thanksgiving we'll get together. I mean, we'll put that to the are, test. We'll take tequila. Don't test it with Patron, though. No. <laughs> All right. Yeah. right. We'll test. find some Don Julio. We'll do that. We'll try that. Julio. We'll get Don some Julio. bottles of that, and we'll we'll have a yeah. good Thanksgiving, and we'll see what we can do. There you go. You should try try Don Julio. Drink it straight. See how you like it. If you if you're drinking it straight, I suggest you do the reposado or the anejo. The blanco's a little rough. To drink oh straight. wow, you're going deep. It's really, yeah. 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 <laughs> the Blanco's a little rough to drink straight unless you're used to the taste. Um, but the Reposado and the Anejo um, have been have been aged longer in the barrels, so there's there's more flavor to them. And we're not you're talking right with like ice or anything yeah. like that, or yeah, um, is ice is ice yeah. a criminal? Is, is that a waste? Or... Oh no, I put ice and I usually have a lime, but my ice my ice melted, so here we go. Damn. All right. Yeah. Ice, so, ice so, and so lime. Don Julio Reposado. Ice. What's the other one? Don Julio Anejo. Reposado and Anejo. Anejo is darker than Reposado because it's been aged longer. Um, and so the, there's more there's more flavor in that taste. Um, but I like the – my favorite is the Reposado right in the middle. And then if I'm making a mixed drink, then I'll use Blanco. Blanco. Um, because it, there's less flavor, so, you, so you'll – taste more of like whatever else you're you're mixing it with yeah well we'll have to give that a try yeah. strawberry margaritas that's what you oh, need yeah. yeah yeah well that's uh, shit that sugar though that's like that is that's sugar yeah, but it's yeah. great so, okay so if you're gonna make us a, a, i don't know why i'm telling you all this if you're gonna make a margarita <laughs> use agave it's okay agave it is it's the next step it's like the yeah, it's like the nectar from the actual tequila plant, and it's natural sugar, so it's not as sugary, and you don't get as bad of you won't like feel sugary, you know, like your stomach won't hurt or anything. Um, and whatever else you put into it, agave brings out the flavors more, so you don't have to add as much of other things to make. I feel it. like I've just been drinking wrong for thirty <laughs> years. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You know, I'm just, hey, I'm just a guy from California. I don't know. Drink you know what you did. Like you tequilas. know what you did. <laughs> <laughs> That's about it. Brilliant. I've literally put that in my phone for in the future, so I will happily report back if, yeah. we, uh, if we get you back on. Yeah, let me know. Uh, if, if you see me tweet you on Twitter and say, I've got a really bad hangover, <laughs> you're lying to me. Okay. I'm not okay about it. All right, all right. I'll take that. I'll take the blame. Right. I'll take the blame because I believe in it. If there's nice. no hangover, like that. if there's no hangover, we trust you, and therefore Eli Manning deserves to go to the Hall of Fame. But if there's a hangover, sounds like some self sabotage is going to happen here. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Okay, okay, but you can't drink like a whole bottle on an empty stomach. Uh, oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, there's no right. fear for that. Yeah. Break right. the game. <laughs> Yeah, two shots maximum in a 24-hour period. No hangover. <laughs> yeah. That's good now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, but I haven't – I went to a restaurant for the first time since March, I think, like a week ago. Where'd you go? Uh, when did we go? Where were we at? It was – um. It will. Oh, we went to we went to Benihana's. Have you heard? Of oh, okay. Yeah, it's like they like they Japanese the, the whole plate and stuff. Yeah, where they cook in front of you. Oh uh, yeah, they throw the egg. knives up in the air and stuff. Yeah, yeah, and then they light the onion on fire and volcano. And yeah. That stuff. Yeah. <laughs> That's cool. I like uh, that. That's not a bad one to do first time. Off. Well, they yeah. Do throw, huh? Do they do the throw the food into your mouth or the the egg uh, in the hat? Unfortunately, they missed that part. They really, oh, it's a shame. They, I know, I know. I Isn't really that really how they have to serve it now with COVID? Like, it has to go straight <laughs> 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 Just flicking <laughs> it all across yeah. the Yeah. Well, the good thing was, like, we were the they only, usually they, like, they have, like, 10 seats around, and they'll seat everybody, even if some of the people at the table aren't part of your party. But yeah. with the COVID stuff, it was just me and my wife, and it was just like, us two. That's amazing. Oh, yeah, awesome. so that like a private chef. Yeah. yeah. It's literally yeah. a private chef. Yeah. I only have one.
have sushi from certain restaurants and I'll only have sake from certain restaurants. Okay. Okay. Because as yeah, I'm not a big sake guy, but if I'm drinking oh, just... sushi, if I'm drinking sushi. <laughs> <laughs> but tequila's against you, Shane. Yeah, but <laughs> If I'm having sushi, then if I, if I trust the place enough to eat sushi there, um, then uh, then I'll have then I'll have sake. Like sushi is the one meal where like I'll pay I'll pay for expensive sushi because I like quality, especially when yeah. it's raw fish. Like um, mm-hmm. and yeah. I only really, I only really go to sushi places if I'm on like the West Coast or the East Coast. Uh, because I just not in the middle yeah, yeah. <laughs> you don't want things to travel that much sushi. that's weird uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. not for me no i gotta i gotta see the ocean to know that like you probably it's fresh that. yeah. that's a really yeah. good call yeah yeah i've had some bad sushi and it's not good it's not a good <laughs> it's not a good time is it <laughs> no Little, I hate dark restaurants. Sorry, I'm going on a tangent. Like, uh-huh. you ever go to a restaurant? Like, mood lights like, of ones. Yeah, and it's like super dark. You're like, you're trying, you, you have to have candles. So now you're like putting your menu, almost burning your face off because you're trying to read the <laughs> menu. And I like, turned some damn lights on. So, but other than that, it was really cool. But that isn't that meant to accentuate the taste or something? Because they have those restaurants where it's a completely pitch black restaurant and the server guides you to your seat and then you order or they. No, maybe it may be even oh. like a set menu, and it's meant to the lack of sight. You therefore taste the food more, like you in yeah. other flavors. I think that's a different thing, though. I don't think that the low yeah, lighting is, is like that. I always thought they do it for like for ugly guys, so that you can take <laughs> you doesn't like see you, you know. Yeah, an ugly guys I, laid. You know, when I was dating, I loved it, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's the Tinder gold mine, that one, isn't it? <laughs> exactly. Well, let's see. You guys have your lights on? No? Perfect. That's where we're Yeah, going. we're right there. <laughs> you there. I'll be in the back. Yeah. It can be quite annoying, in fairness. If you're there at, say, 6 p.m., and at 7 p.m., they dim the lights, yeah. suddenly you've got to get used to the whole setting of the whole room again. It's a pain in the backside. It is. It is. But hey, you know. It's one, one of those things. That's all I can't say. I've just got work. I'm going away camping this weekend, which would be quite nice. Camping? Yeah. Where Where do you camp in the UK? Somewhere with a big field somewhere, basically. Yeah. Because there's so much greenery everywhere. It's there with the coast. I didn't Green. know about this, Jazz. I, I can't no. imagine you camping. You're a very, like, creature comforts kind of guy. I do like but... my comforts, for sure. But we we just literally booked it today. So Have you ever been that. camping? I have. Apart okay. from we we all did uh, the Duke of Edinburgh, it's like a big yeah. And you quit, you quit I, after the first one. I didn't quit. I actually you did. I, you I, did I quit. I finished the first one and didn't carry on because I really hated it. <laughs> because I got the most horrific blisters of my feet of all time. But if you just let me sleep on a, yep. an air mattress, I've got a, I've got a big tent. It's fine. It's quite nice. So, so yeah, I was gonna ask: Are you a tent camper or are you like a big RV mobile home camper? So it'd be tent. I wish we had an RV or mobile home, but unfortunately, that's one of those things that's not in the, uh, it's on the wish list, but not going to happen just yet. So tents at the minute. Is this a this fancy is- air mattress? Or Sorry? Is it like a plush, nice air mattress? This isn't like... It's a double air mattress and it inflates itself. Oh. So if that's plush, then sure. Yeah, yeah. That, well, I mean, camping terms, that's pretty plush. That's not like it a... I think, you're gonna, I think you're going to have a really bad weekend, Jess. Yeah. I don't, because I've done it before and I really enjoyed it. Well, you take a, I don't you know. Test out the tequila theory. If, if it go. rains, I should get some tequila for that. So I should do. I it. Should say, yeah, yeah, you go. See. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll try and find some uh, some Don Julio on Amazon and see if I can get it delivered by then. That's a big <laughs> risk though, because if there is a hangover, which I kind of hope there is oh, now. Oh yeah, it's going to be a lot worse in the tent. <laughs> That's true. Hang- yeah, a hangover in a That's tent true. is going to be horrific. Like that will be yeah. disastrous. Oh my goodness. Maybe oh, the fresh air will help. I'll, I'll give you credit. I am not a camper. Not a camper. No. Not even you've done it before. I've done it. I did it when I was in like seventh grade. We with like a, me and my brother went with another with uh with some friends of ours, and um, that was the last time I ever went camping. Yeah. See, now I I was like you, and then I tried it again because my fiance really wanted me to do it, and I was like, okay, I'll try it. And actually, I really enjoyed just sitting around 
and looking at some greenery, fresh yeah. air, having some drinks, having a barbecue. It just means you, and we did it with a family. So it was quite nice and communal. So I changed my mind on it because of that. So maybe if you try it again, take your tequila with you. Yeah, take maybe tequila. you have a great time. But maybe that might just be because of the tequila rather than the camping. And the showering, you know. Yeah. Yeah. I like to shower like every day. <laughs> <laughs> well the done. place we go into has got a nice shower <laughs> block. So I hope they should be fair. Uh, showers every day. <laughs> Yeah, that's, that's crazy i think we do them every three days in the uk yeah. so that's, yeah. that's a lot we're a smaller country though so we have less water i think it is even though we're, yeah yeah that's the problem yeah yeah if only we had swimming pools we could have outdoor showers every day that's the that's the goal in my thing uh i listen to flagrant too oh that's a great yeah. podcast yeah yeah, yeah. I like yeah. That. just getting into listen, that yeah yeah i listen to that one and I listen to Joe Budden podcast. Uh, you guys probably might not know who Joe Budden is. He was a rapper. I was gonna say the rapper, yeah. Yeah, the rapper. He had pump it up. Yeah, yeah, the Fast and Furious song. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that what it was. Yeah, yeah. Um, but his his podcast is actually one of the top podcasts in uh, in the states. You know, nice. there's this there's this other comedian I like talk. His name is uh, Theo Vaughn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. We listen to Theo Vaughn. Yeah, yeah, gang, gang. Hey, you guys might as well move to the states. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Sometimes we think that, to be honest. We're all in. <laughs> Shane Vereen once again. I'm sure that won't be the last time that we have him on the podcast. Uh, absolute riot to chat with him and hopefully throughout the season we'll be able to get his thoughts on the NFL and anything else that's going on around the world, it seems. So uh, you can follow him on Instagram at Shana34, at Shana34 on Twitter, at Shane Vereen34. You can follow ourselves on Instagram, UK underscore pick underscore six underscore podcast, and on Twitter, UK pick six pod. You can follow myself, O underscore J underscore Wilson on both of those, Jazz Gillum is Jazz Gillum on both Twitter and Instagram. And Dave is, of course, David Bluck1 on Twitter and David Bluck on Instagram. Uh, enjoy all the snippets. Uh, thanks for watching. And we will have more coming up next week in the UK Pick 6 podcast.